Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3x equals 10. And what we're going to do first is we're going to rewrite this equation. We're going to write this as 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 because remember we when we have something like this this is equal to x times 3 we multiply the exponents so we're simply reversing that and this equals 10 and now what we're going to do is since we have 2 2 to the power of x's we're going to set 2 to the power of x equal y the variable y so y equals 2 to the power x. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the terms that have 2 to the power of x to y. So this rewrites to 2 to the power of x. That's y plus y to the power of 3 equals 10. Now we're going to subtract 10 on both sides. So we get, let me rewrite this in order of exponents. We have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 equals 0. So now we're actually to factor this, we're going to rewrite this y as, we write it right here, y third minus 4y plus 5y. We're going to rewrite the y as minus 4y plus 5y, and we still have the minus 10 here, and this equals 0. Now, from y third, y to the power of 3 minus 4y, we're going to factor out y. So we get y times y squared minus 4. And from 5y minus 10, we're simply going to factor out 5. So we have plus 5 times y minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. And all this still equals 0. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change our y squared minus 4 into y plus 2 times y minus 2. So we have y times y plus 2 times y minus 2. We simply just factored this y squared minus 4. And we're going to add this with 5 times y minus 2. And all of this still equals 0. And now, as you can see, since both terms have y minus 2 in them, we're going to factor out y minus 2 here. So if we factor out y minus 2, we get y times y plus 2 plus 5. And all of this still equals zero. Sorry, I've. And now we've created two equations. We have y minus two equals zero, and y times y plus two plus five equals zero. Now let's solve our first one here. This one is really simple. We simply add two on both sides to isolate y and we get 
y is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. So y is equal to 0 plus 2. And our next solution, well, let's first start by distributing our y here to y plus 2. So we get y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0. And now as you see, we have a quadratic equation here. And we want to factor this, right? So we're going to do our use our quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So b, remember y squared is a, 2y is b, and 5 is c. So we have negative b, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared, 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. And we're going to divide this by 2 times a. Remember, a is 1, so we have 2 times 1, which is simply 2. Now, let me bring this over here. So now we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5. That's 4 minus 20, which is negative 16. And as you see, we can't take the square root of a negative. That's not possible. Meaning this is wrong and this equation is wrong. So our only solution is y equals 2. And why don't we plug? So this is our only solution. So now, as you can see, y equals 2 to the power of x, right? So because we already know that y equals 2, we have 2 equals 2 to the power of x. And what to the power of, or 2 to the power of what equals 2? 1, because anything to the power of 1 equals itself, meaning x equals 1. Now, why don't we check our solution in this equation? So if we plug in 1 for x, we get 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 3 times 1 equals 10, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, plus 2 to the power of 3 times 1 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, this equals 10, and 2 plus 8 does indeed equal 10, so 10 equals 10, and this is right, so our solution here, x equals 1, is right.